For many, tragedies like the Yarnell Hill fire become short clips in our minds. But as ABC 15's Katie Connor shows us, for those who lost a husband, a father, a brother, or son, the real runs endlessly. He was just a special guy. Grant McKee still can't go a day, hour, or minute without seeing his only son. It still feels like I'm going to see him. It still feels like he's going to show up around the corner. McKee named his son after himself. He had a different way about him. Very confident and very humble and very positive person. This past year has been a blur for McKee. He says he's struggling to make sense of the tragic loss of his son, but he won't let it beat him down. I used to tell my son the sign of a really strong person is when you're beaten and you're down on the floor and you can't get up. You get up one more time, every time. To push forward, McKee holds on to a Father's Day gift. My favorite thing that I own in the whole world is a little book that he made for me when he was seven years old. It's called My Daddy and Me. And it's a book about um, when we were the same age, one-year-old, two-year-old, three-year-old, and he took the time and cut pictures out. Grant included this picture of himself as a toddler. His dad never noticed it until three weeks ago. I go past this picture that I've seen a thousand times or more. And I didn't really realize that he had a fireman's hat on, but he has a big red fireman's hat on. What McKee didn't know back then was years later, his son would fulfill his childhood dream and become not just a firefighter, but a hot shot. Grant was one of the youngest on his team. He always knew what he wanted to do. For his dad, he, though, uh, the old adage, time heals all wounds, isn't true. But hopefully, he can at least find some solace that Grant died doing what he loved. I have to believe that I will see him again. Grant joined the Granite Mountain Hotshots to be with his cousin, Robert Caldwell, who also was lost in the fire.